Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad exponential equation problem and here we have 81 to the power of m equals to m to the power of 18 and we solve this problem for the values of m. So we find the value of m and uh, here the very first thing we are going to do is here first we uh, move the variable term which is m to the right hand side and we move the constant term which is 18 uh, from right hand side to the left hand side and we find the value of m so uh, now we solve this question uh, by two methods so first we solve this problem by method one so from method one here uh, we uh, rewrite this equation as or uh, we just take the mth root on both of the sides and it will be written as 81 to the power of m and its whole power 1 over m equals to m to the power of 18 and its whole power 1 over m. Here we just uh, take mth root on both of the sides and after that uh, we just use the exponential law and you know about this life we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m times of n so we use this nice exponential law uh, from uh, both of the sides and here we get this m is cancelled out by this m according to this law when we multiply these two exponents so these are cancelled by each other and we get 81 equals to m to the power of 18 divided by m so uh, first we uh, move over m term in in the right hand side and now we move the 18 term in the left hand side so in order to move 18 terms in the uh, left hand side we just take 18th root on both of the sides so it means that we get 81 to the power of 1 over 18 equals to m to the power of 18 over m and its whole power 1 over 18 here we just take the 18th root on both of the sides and you see that this 18 is cancelled out by this 18 and we get here 81 to the power of 1 over 18 equals to m to the power of 1 over m and now uh, we rewrite the left hand side as because here we have 81 and we write it as 9 square we know that 9 square becomes 81 and its whole power 1 over 81 and in the left hand side we have m to the power of 1 over m so this 2 is cancelled out by this 18 and we get here 9 to the power of 1 over 9 equals to m to the power of 1 over m so here we compare both of the sides and we easily get the value of m equals to 9 so this is the first solution of this question by method number one so now we solve again this problem uh, by method number two so in second method uh, we first copy down the question statement it is 81 to the power of m equals to m to the power of 18 so uh, in second method we use the common logarithm to solve this problem uh, and here we take uh, the common logarithm from both of the sides and we get uh, log of 81 to the power of m equals to log of m to the power of 18. So here we use the nice property of logarithm and you know that if we have log of a to the power of m it is equals to m times of log a. We use this nice property of log to the left as well as the right hand side so according to this property we move this exponent m to the front of this log and we get m times of log 81 equals to 18 times of log m and here again uh, we uh, separate the variable terms and the constant terms so we move m to the right hand side and 18 to the left hand side and we get log of 81 divided by 18 equals to log of m divided by m and after that uh, here we rewrite the left hand side as because we have 81 and we write it as 
log of 9 square we know that 9 square becomes 81 and divided by 18 and it is equals to log of m divided by m so now we simplify this expression and we get the value of m so here we again use the nice property of log and we move this 2 in the front of this log and it will be written as 2 times of log 9 divided by 18 equals to log of m divided by m. So here we cancel this 2 by 18 and we get 9 and this implies that we have log of 9 divided by 9 equals to log of m divided by m. So now we compare both of the sides and you see here we have log of m equals to log of 9 so these are the numerator terms and when we compare its denominators and we easily get the value of m equals to 9 so here uh, you cancel these log and we get here m equals to 9 so from both of these cases uh, we get the value of m is equals to 9 so from both methods we get the same uh, value of m so this is the final answer of this question so now uh, we check this solution is the solution uh, satisfied our given question statement or not so to check here first we copy down the question statement which is 81 to the power of m equals to m to the power of 18 and here uh, we substitute the value of m on both of the sides and it will be written as 81 and its whole power 9 because m equals to 9 and in the right hand side we have 9 to the power of 18 so here uh, we know that 81 equals to 9 square and its whole power 9 equals to 9 to the power of 18 so here we use the nice exponential line we know that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m times of n so we again use this nice exponential law in the left hand side of this equation and this will be written as 9 to the power of 18 because 2 9s are 18 equals to 9 to the power of 18. So this shows that left hand side equals to right hand side. Uh, so it means that the value of m equals to 9 satisfied this given question statement. So this shows that m equals to 9 be the only solution of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos